One time, I went for this hike with some seminarian friends. It was Friday and we wanted to avoid eating meat. So we brought along some huge chunks of fresh cheese and just made sandwiches with that. Pretty simple fare, really. But the hike was long and strenuous. And by the time we got to the top, we were famished. And so we dug into these cheese sandwiches with a beautiful view from the top. And I remember this as being one of the best meals of my life. But I wouldn't say that I would enjoy that right now. As they say, hunger is the best sauce. And the spiritual life can be like that too. Certain things can be more or less appealing depending on our spiritual state. So not only should I pay attention to my desires, but I should also pay attention to my spiritual state at the time. This is part of what St. Ignatius of Loyola calls the discernment of spirits. The two states, or spirits, to pay attention to are the spirit of consolation and the spirit of desolation. Consolation is when I feel consoled by God. I feel close to Him, I feel His warmth, His love. It's when everything seems to be going well in the spiritual life. Desolation, on the other hand, is when I feel alone, abandoned by God, and prayer feels futile, cold, dry, and distant. Sometimes being in consolation or desolation is a result of what I am doing. Am I praying or am I not talking to God? Am I sinning or am I living a life of virtue? Other times it's what the devil is trying to do in our lives and how he tries to influence us. But more often than not, it's what God is doing, what he gives us, because that's what we need in that moment, regardless of what we want. Being aware of the reality of consolation and desolation is essential when trying to discern based on attraction or desire. Because just like I might only like cheese sandwiches when I'm really hungry, I might only feel attracted to the priesthood or marriage or whatever when I'm in consolation or desolation. For example, when I'm feeling close to God, I might be inspired by his love to think, wow, the priesthood would be awesome, and I'd really love to do that. That's a sign that this is inspired by God. But when I feel far from God, I'm in a state of desolation, I might not feel that same attraction to the priesthood, but rather all my fears and objections well up instead. Now, it's still useful to pray about what comes up during a time of desolation because it can reveal some of what's in my heart, but it's not a time to make decisions. It's like being on a boat in the midst of a storm. You can't steer the boat during the storm. You just have to weather it out and stay the course and wait for clear skies and smooth sailing. Because we have short memories in our spiritual lives, it's best to keep a journal to record what am I feeling drawn towards or afraid of and why. And also take note if I'm in a general state of consolation or desolation at the time. This can help us recognize patterns. In addition, a spiritual director is super helpful so we don't deceive ourselves or become confused with excessive navel gazing. What we've just discussed, the discernment of spirits, is a short summary of St. Ignatius's second way of discernment. Next time, we'll talk about the first and the third way. But for now, let this information help you become more aware of your emotions and desires and become more aware of your spiritual state at the time to help you make sense of those feelings.
have in store for me.